Hey, this is Ryan from Learning Worcester Kids, and today we're playing some more Spore. We played one video on Spore before, and I thought we'd go back to the game. So last video, we made a whole new species and uh, made it through basically being a little worm or something. And, and I was basically still in water the entire time, but um, I don't know. I, I thought I'd try a new um, thing about this game. I saw that there was a play mode, which I did last time, um, where I made a species and I picked a planet. And um, it's kind of like the story mode. But I realized that there's also this create mode, um, where, which I want to play around with a little bit today. So you can go to choose a creature. You can go to create a creature, uh, create a building, create a vehicle, um, create a uh, sea vehicle, air vehicle, space. It's some pretty crazy stuff, some stuff I didn't even know was in this game. So this episode would be flexible today, just play around with some of this. The video might not be as long as usual, um, but it might just maybe make a creature, make a... and maybe make a vehicle or something, maybe maybe a building. So maybe that's what we'll set for the gold search today, like a creature, a vehicle, and a building. Um, though, I want to... I'm, I'm like I said, I'm doing this to be flexible, I'm just going to play around, um, see how it goes. Um, so yeah, let's go, let's just hop right into it. Um, I want to get my creative juices flowing today, so let's get create creature. It looks like I have to pick a specific type. A space outfitter, a civilization outfitter, tribal creature creator. Um, okay, let's just go to the basics. Um, create evolved creatures for tribal, for tribal stage. Or, or should I make a civilized one? Well, let's, let's make a tribal, let's make a creature creature, you know? Like, I don't know, I've always been an art kid and I always love to draw things myself and, um, like, even do a little 3D modeling and stuff. And this stuff's really cool because you can just, like, it's, it's like a simplified version of, like, 3D modeling and stuff. You can just pick parts and just throw it on. Like, if I want to just grab this mouth, I think you can just, yeah, look at that. <laughs> this is already looking cool. Okay, so, um, so I put, this looks like you can just grab, um, like, like, mouths and stuff and throw them on um once you throw them on it looks like you can move them as well um hmm, how did I... so i can click on the part oh i see I, so i can change the angle of them that's cool so if i want to oh this is this is awesome so let's let's make it go up a little bit as well i don't have any specific plan or anything i'm just i'm just having fun just kind of pushing this stuff around Okay, cool. So we added a mouth. Um, can we take this and like, uh, not really. Um, okay. So, what do we? I feel like we need like we need legs, obviously. So you guys want to hop to the legs? You don't necessarily need eyes or anything. Um, <laughs> we can make whatever type of creature we want to make today. So we're gonna. What is this? This is like a. Um, I put this on the ground. Oh, I just. Um, hmm. Okay. Maybe if I grab one of these, I probably I probably need like a like a leg, right? So I put the foot on the ground. Um, nope. Hmm. It's all trial and error. We just gotta play around a little bit. Um. Mm -hmm. So I probably need something like this, maybe. <laughs> so right now my my creature is kind of floating in the air. Um. Cool. I guess we'll make it bigger. I'm not I'm not sure. I think these are these are antlers. Should they go on top? Yeah, I think they should go on top. I guess you can do whatever you want, but, um, yeah. Okay, so let's see if we can, like, um, attach some ligaments. Yeah, so if this is what I was looking for earlier, um, when I was playing with the feet. So you can just grab feet, put them right here. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, let's, let's put some arms on it. Um, I feel like this is, this is too... This is too um, basic, just to have two arms and two legs. You, should we add some more uh, feet? Let your let your imaginations go wild. So we'll go like this. <laughs> and um, let's, okay, so there's also next pages, so feel free to, to explore. Oh, look at these feet though. <laughs> okay, I might just add a bunch of feet. Can, okay, so let's, let's see if I can edit these feet now. Make these ones go out really far. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, that's cool. So we're gonna, it looks like any any piece that you add, you can go on later to grab and edit. So like I, I, okay, cool. Even even like the main part. So if I want to, um, oh, you guys see that? So um, basically when, when I grabbed the body, it showed me like the, the skeletal part inside of it. And I dragged it, I made like a tail. Should we give this guy some eyes? Should we give him a face? 
Oh, he looks pretty cool already. But, um, yeah, we'll spice him up. We'll give him a little bit more and maybe get to a house. Hmm, so... Where was the eyes? Oh, yeah, it was over here. So if we go like this... Can we throw some, maybe like a big eye on top? Oh, God. <laughs> this isn't really what I was going for. <laughs> but it's pretty funny. <laughs> what is this? This is like antler eyes? Okay, so if I put this here... And I, um... And I gotta grab an eye. No, I can't attach it. Yeah, just like if you're making a piece of art in real life, um, you always realize that there's that there's limits. There's that you want to try and push the limits, try and attach the eyes to the antlers, um, and and basically push your creative juices as far as you can. But sometimes things just don't work out. It won't let me add the eye to the antler. Um, so I'm thinking maybe we grab one of these big ones and just throw it right in the middle. Got a cyclops thing going on. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, yeah, there we go. So let's grab his chin. Can we move his chin um, down a little bit? Oh, this is his whole head. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> so um, we've made our creature so far. This is pretty cool. Um, <coughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, I've added everything. Can I name? Okay, so you can name your creature. You wanna just like a, just like a pet or something. You wanna you wanna name it because it's your it's your new baby. Um, I'm feeling like both Balthazar or something, right? He, he looks like a name like that. Um, and I guess we'll just click check. Um, actually, you know, what? let's go to the painting studio really quick. Give him a, give him a nice paint job, you know. Hmm. Um. I don't know how crazy I am about most of these paints. Maybe I need to wait for it to load in a little bit. Oh! I don't know what I did, but that's awesome. Okay, that's both side for us. Oh, can I go back? How did I make him like that orange? Okay. So that's Bolzar. Cool, so I made a creature today. One goal checked off the list. Now let's um let's 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 go to a vehicle. I'm I'm not hundred percent sure if I actually want to make a building today. I feel like that's gonna be a lot. Um maybe let's let's go to create a land vehicle, see how that goes for us today. Um so we can create a land vehicle. What is this? E economic military or religious. That's weird. We can make a religious land vehicle. Um, let's just make military. Because, um, I don't know, I'm thinking about Civ, I'm thinking about tanks and stuff. Might as well make a massive um, something. Okay, so, oh, so this is, this is, how are we going to start this baby? Um, there's some nice pieces. There's like the basic, like, a uh, car look is like kind of a tank look just like a ship look um you, you want to find the foundation and go from there um like i said we're being flexible this episode so um i'm not i'm not gonna plan anything too much i'm just gonna grab something and just go with it um do i want to go with this now i'm gonna grab maybe this one we'll go with the basic car one just to play around uh, do we want to make it taller Ugh, i kind of like it um kind of lower make it lim make a limousine okay that's cool um so we'll grab that. Let's see what's over here. What are these? Um, if, I, if I grab this. Oh, so this is like a little cockpit. Um, so you can make it different heights, just like just like the, the creature creation. You can kind of edit how edit it however you want. Um, let's go. Can we move it back a little bit? Let's move it back a little bit. Yeah, the, the def... Uh, if you're ever just looking for a game just to zone out and just create, this definitely seems like the game. Um, you can kind of push the limits in a lot of a lot of the creation aspects, and I can't wait till um, and I, I can't imagine what it's like to get to um, get to the story mode of this game and be able to use things like this in an actual way. Um, so let's add some wheels. What kind of wheels do we want? Do we add um, hmm? Do we just want to get baits? Or oh, let's look at these. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Um. Yeah, okay, let's add these. Uh, I guess just right, right here. Is is that a good spot for it? Do I do, do I need a test drive or anything? I don't think I do. Right? Probably not. Um, let's add them back. I don't know why I got rid of them. Okay, right there. And can I? Oh, so you, I can like edit the width of them as well. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's um, what's what's next? Oh yeah, I'm, this is a military vehicle, so we all we're all we're looking for is tons of damage. So we're gonna wanna um, we're actually we're gonna want something in the back or something to to elevate um, 
the gun or whatever. What is this plasma ducks? This is pretty cool looking. Um, I guess I'll add them to the side. I don't know what they do, but they're cool looking. Um, what is this? A space time grill? You cook some burgers? <laughs> Had a nice spoiler. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> so so we'll use the spoiler as a prop. We want to we don't want to flow together when we're using items. Um, so let's grab maybe this paddle shot. Planet sniper. What is this? <laughs> I'm trying trying to figure out how to. How, we're making a military vehicle, so it's gonna need some type of weapon. And um, oh, there we go. <laughs> we'll add this right on top. That's, that's, that, yeah, <laughs> that looks great. Okay, cool. Um, eh, what else do I want on this? I have enough weapons. Um, roving spot. Frank, I don't know what most of this stuff is. Just had a flower in the middle. You know, <laughs> I I kind of I kind of enjoyed making the creature a little bit more than making this vehicle. I feel like I'm just kind of added stuff for no reason. The creature was kind of I don't know. Maybe that's maybe that's just me. Uh, oh, this is <laughs> this go like this. Okay, okay, that's good. So let's add a paint job for this and see how it goes. Just that uh, that's not bad. Try to make it red. That's pretty cool. So what are these separate tabs? So it looks like there's um kind of a preset tab and then there's like um different Oh, so you can like set the, the, the cockpit and stuff like that. Certain colors. So you can play around with the color palette. You can get your creative juices to the next level. Um you see you can pick secondary colors, main colors, you wanna organize them pretty well. Um so you want to pick corresponding colors. So if we're picking something like uh, blue, I want to pick something like green or something that goes with it. Or like yellow and blue. They're pretty good colors that go together. Let's, let's go with yellow and blue. So I'll make the car yellow. And I'll make the... Um, actually, no. Let's make the car blue. And make the cockpit yellow. Can we do that? Let's see. Oh, there we go. Eh, that's not bad. Look at that. Learn where's your kids' colors. Okay, awesome. So let's go over here. What is this stuff? So it looks like there's also like material areas that I can like drop on certain things. Oh, that's cool. So um, yeah, if there's a certain like textile or material you really like, you can grab it, drop it on, drop it on one part. Oh, and you, each part is sectioned too. So if you look at wherever you hover, um, it's a little outlined. So we can say, oh, I want, I want the one of these, this middle thing be that color. Oh, this is and it matches um that's awesome so whenever you do one thing to one side it does it automatically to the other um which is really useful that's pretty cool so let's just continue on and we'll call this it kind of looks like a taxi maybe taxi tank i don't know laser beam we'll call it bill what a, what a great name for <laughs> what a great name okay so um yeah, the, um, should, you know, let's look at the building ones really quick. Um, let's, let's look at create a house. Just so we can knock all three off the list, we already did, um, made a basic creature and we made a basic um, vehicle. Last but not least, we're going to make a um, building, um, which is pretty cool. So we got to get the initial building blocks. I guess we'll get, let's start with an archway. I feel like that'd be cool. Um, how, how big do we want it? Do we want it? Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, unlike Minecraft or something, this room kind of, this more reminds me of like Gary's mod or something, where you can just spawn a limited amount of items, so you don't have to really be worried about resources. Um, when you're playing Minecraft or building something in real life, um, you have to you have to always consider your resources and um, the limits that you have and stuff like that. The only limits in this game that I have really seem to be the, the size and the area, but um, I have unlimited building tools, I believe, and. I can make whatever colors and stuff I want too. Um, frankly, I wish I knew more about this game and what I was actually putting on this building. Like, what is this? It looks pretty scary, but like, maybe it's like a, looks like a, I don't know what that, what that is. It's maybe like something you put liquid into or catches rain or something. I don't know. Um, it kind of looks like a sink to be honest. Um, so you could, should we add a drawbridge? <laughs> um, you, you. It's, I'm being flexible this episode, but normally you kind of make a plan for what type of house you want to build. Um, the only the only thing I really have is um, I kind of have a 
a spooky theme going on with like this archway um, and I want to add this but um, I don't know how to add it yet I might uh, make some more things on the ground so maybe add this what is this I guess so mm, that doesn't really work well gotta gotta find the perfect match set you know that that doesn't look that bad play with the size it doesn't necessarily um oh this is weird <laughs> I love the limits that you, I love how you can basically stretch anything in this game to how you want it to. That's what makes this game really cool to me. Um, so let's stretch that to there. Let's make it tall, make a power plant. You know, why not? <laughs> we, we need energy for our um, tower thing. Let's make this taller too, since we have, um, oh, I don't mean to add that there. I'll put this back. Or is this right here? Yeah, I mean, something like that. Um, so what were we adding? We're adding like a drawbridge or something. Oh, should we add some win windows to the to the place? That looks pretty nice. We'll add, um, let me it's make sure make sure it looks good. Make sure it's sized down. Make sure it fits. There you go. Um, maybe one on the other side too. Okay, cool. Um, let's let's paint her up and call her a day. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I kind of like this. Definitely, ah, uh, I feel like I need something a little more spooky. Ooh, that's cool. Um, hmm. We'll start with um something like, eh. Let's, let's check out the other areas. So we got. Ooh, that's kind of this kind of looks cool. It's a little futuristic. I'm kind of going for that um kind of haunted house feel though. So if you see something like that, leave it in the comment below, and I'll try and edit it next time. I'm thinking maybe something like this. This doesn't look bad. The comment. Uh, there we go. So go with the go with like a nice wood touch. We'll go with a wood touch complemented by um, this brown tile. You know, it's kind of it's kind of looks like a pirate house in my opinion. Oh, let me grab this. That doesn't look good like that. Um, turn this one red. What's yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't look bad. There we go. That looks pretty good. Uh, no. Let's grab this one. Go back to the red, red, red. And now that wants some work. And yeah, there we go. That looks pretty good. Um, yeah. So that that's about it for today. Today I built a um a creature. We'll call this spooky house. Today I built a creature, uh, built a house, and built a vehicle. They're all pretty basic, and I didn't have a real goal or anything, but I don't know. I had fun doing it, and you guys should definitely pick up this game and try it out in your own time if you had fun watching. Um, the creative places you can take the, um, the creations in this game are crazy, and I can't imagine how it's actually incorporated into the story. So um, if you guys have fun watching, make sure you check out the Learning Wars for Kids website and check out our other Let's Play videos. Bye. Okay, I got it. No! Okay, no one needs to jump and spin around. I need to suction cut myself the track. Jump, spin around, suction cut myself the track, and here we go. Oh no, you're gonna get it! Oh no! This is gonna be. Oh yeah, I know how this is. I think this is This is kind of a hard map. Okay, now we go on. Awesome, I didn't really get that.